you don't need to bulk in order to build muscle. Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited about today's video because it's going to be a serious train with me and today we are building glutes. Um, in the end of this video, I will include some diet and nutrition and food tips. Also, I will explain what I'm doing right now. As you know, I'm on a mini cut right now, so it doesn't stop us from building those glutes. I will tell you everything about it. We will make a series. We will build our physiques together, get stronger together. So be sure to click like on this video if you want to see more workouts with me. I will be doing everything weekly, so stay tuned for that. All the tips, all the voiceover you will hear a little bit later in the video once I start working out. So I just wanted to say that. And another thing, I really appreciate your support. Without much talking, let's get into the workout. So let's begin this killer glute session. And of course, first exercise is one of my favorites for glutes. It burns like hell which is curtsy lunges and I decided to do this one in Smith machine. You can also use dumbbells, um, even a free barbell on your shoulders, whatever works for you, it's fine as long as you're doing it correctly. So as you can see, uh, I was speeding this workout a little bit just for you to not get bored, but I am really doing this exercise slowly, controlled and pausing at the bottom also keep touching my glutes just to make sure that i'm feeling the muscle and it is working so someone just turned off the lights but i guess it's fine so second exercise was romanian deadlifts and smith machine you can also use free barbell kettlebell dumbbells whatever you want um, what's really important is to of course do it slowly but also keep pushing your hips back um, keep the spine neutral you shouldn't be feeling any pain in your lower back only glutes and hamstrings should be working now we are moving on into this killer glute exercise barbell hip thrust i did it in smith machine as well and you will see i will be doing triple drop set basically here um right now i'm just squeezing my glutes at the top for three seconds and i really love to play around with different tempos um squeezing times right now i did three seconds but sometimes i even do four or just one depends on how many reps i have but today was three seconds so I did it with heavier weight, then I removed, I believe, 20 kgs, so for 10 kgs on each side, and did another 12 reps, also squeezing at the top. As you can see, my feet are elevated, which helps me to feel my muscles and glutes working even better. Definitely try this position if you haven't before. And here I'm just finishing off this set by body weight hip thrust, just to burn it off. Now we are moving on into this crazy killer super set. Um, it burns my glutes so bad. So first exercise is of course reverse hack squat. I love this exercise for my glutes. It targets squats as well, but if you are positioning your foot right, you get in your mind to muscle connection. It mainly targets glutes. So what I do, I try to stand a little bit wider than, than my shoulder width apart with feet slightly pointing outwards just a little bit to make sure that my glutes are firing also i'm stopping at the bottom for one second and pushing up from my heels to make sure that glutes are working bulgarian split squats are known to be a killer exercise for your legs but i love it of course it hits even harder after doing those hack squats uh, what i do here i try to really focus on the negative when i am going down i am really really targeting my glute imagining in my head that muscle working also pushing for my heel up to really fire that glute 
and last but not least is just a leg press of course we need to chain our quads as well it hits glutes but hits quads quite a bit because training quads is important as well if you want to have round and nicely shaped glutes you must train your legs which means hamstrings and quads should be trained too so there's nothing special about this exercise i'm just making sure that i'm pressing my lower back into the pad that i'm sitting making sure there's no gapping because it can cause injuries and pain in lower back which we don't want um, also i love doing higher reps on this exercise just to make sure that everything is burning and we are getting the most out of it hey guys so i just get back home from the gym as you can see i'm wearing the same outfit i did in my video clips um but i wanted this video to be even more helpful to you i want you to join me uh, to join my workouts to do it with me i will be uploading a new workout each week that you can join and do with me together this is exactly what i'm doing right now so it's going to be so much fun so there's that another thing i really wanted to point a few things out about diet which is extremely important in order to make the best gains because we work hard in the gym but if we aren't doing the same in the kitchen and we aren't paying attention to our food basically we're just wasting our time because we won't make gains or at least as much gains as we want as far as now i am on my mini cut i reduced my calories by 300 i believe yeah 300 calories i also increased cardio which today for example i did very light cardio 30 minutes in the morning and i did 10, 10 minutes on stairmaster after my leg day which was wasn't that hard it's just to a little bit increase my activity and to burn more calories and make this cut successful and just not too long basically um first thing i want you to know is that you don't need to bulk in order to build muscle which means you don't need to overeat your calories um, especially if you are just getting started you have plenty of room to progress you can eat at your maintenance or just slightly increase your calories if you haven't done much activity before and you just started training you will definitely feel hungrier which means you need more food food to fuel your workouts but at the same time if you are a newbie you will have plenty of room to grow don't worry about calories that much eat at your maintenance or a light surplus also another thing if you are pretty lean and advanced lifter this makes things a little bit complicated at least a little bit more complicated you probably will be needing to eat in a slight surplus or in a moderate surplus depends on how lean you are how your body is responding metabolism and all that other stuff um, as you know i also work with a lot of different girls um, which are just beginners some of them are advanced and we are always basing those things and calories on our progress on how we feel how our metabolism um, if we are putting on weight too quick or too slow there's a lot of indicators but i just want to make this video extremely simple to understand for everyone so i won't expand on this but it's just something to keep in mind another important thing is we discussed that we need to eat at maintenance or light surplus but it also food sources are extremely important and you should be eating enough carbs carbs aren't your enemy i know you've heard this a lot of times before but i will repeat this carbs is not an enemy it's your friend it helps you to build muscle to feel energized especially if you are eating your carbs around your workout window so uh, what i do for example i eat majority of my carbs in the morning i eat huge calorically dense breakfast which i'll show you here my pancakes i will leave the recipe actually the recipe is on my laura's coaching account and on my own as well you can check that out follow me on instagram because i shall share a lot of different stuff there as well so um yeah i eat huge breakfast before my workout and then quite a bit of carbs after my workout just to fuel me up another important thing that goes with carbs 
pre and post workout is protein protein is so important and the best source of protein of course is animal source because it absorbs the best um, plant proteins. If you are vegan, that's completely fine, but it's just doesn't digest and absorb that well as animal products do. So if you aren't a vegan, you could definitely eat something like chicken with rice, which is lean protein and carbs, um, veggies, don't forget veggies. Um, or even have a protein shake with some berries, bananas and stuff like that. Just make sure to fuel yourself before and after you train with good amount of carbs and protein. Fats are important as well, but not that important around your training window because fats, as you know, slows down the digestion and it's just not ideal to consume a lot of fats around your workout. If you are eating and training a few hours later, you can definitely have more fats, but if you are training after one hour or even half an hour, um, just eat something light with with not much fats, pretty much carbs and protein. Another important thing is not only macros, but your food sources. It should be clean. 80 to 90% of your diet should be clean, which I always do myself. I pretty much eat all the clean foods because I love them. Um, some people consider white rice not clean, so I eat quite a bit of white, uh, white rice and rice flakes which I consider clean food, some people don't. You can, you can say whatever you want, but it works well for me. So make sure your diet is clean and you get all of the, benefit, all of the benefits from the food you eat. Um, you can definitely have some fun. 20% um, of your diet, 10% of your diet can be fun foods like chocolate, um, pasta, and I even consider pasta clean food. I don't know what normal people eat, but you can have fun with it, just make sure you have balance. Balance, that famous word, but balance means different things for everyone. Just keep in mind, be mindful. If you aren't feeling well, definitely check your diet again. Probably you aren't eating the way you should be. So just listen to your body. It's a great indicator of all that. To be honest, I didn't plan this part. I just wanted to share what I'm doing and I really hope it was helpful. If it was, just please click the like on this video. It helps my channel a lot. Um, also, it boosts my, my motivation to keep creating these videos, to keep sharing all the information and just to inspire you daily. Um, I also love reading comments. So if you want, just please leave me something in the comments below. We'll respond to all of you and it just will make my day. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.